hello hello my name is Bessie and this is Budgets with Bess if you're a subscriber welcome back love having you here and if you're not I hope you are by the end of this video today what we are doing is some cash unstuffing and a quick bill exchange from the money that we unstuff from our sinking funds so all of March I kept a tally of what I spent it's not very detailed there are definitely a lot of other channels that do a way better job at detailing their expenses than I do so I hope you all enjoy this video let's get right into it before we get into it, let me do some quick shout outs. The first person I want to shout out is Brina with the twist. Go check out her channel. I know she recently had a Shein haul, which was super cute. So go check her out. Another channel to check out is Chris Budgets because it is a good time over there. She is working and she is twerking to get her family to financial freedom. So check out her channel. And a new channel that just subbed to me, but I also wanted to sub back was Cash in Spanglish. So if you are a new channel and you are subscribing, I'm hardly, if ever, getting notifications of new subscribers. So if you are a new subscriber and let me know in the comments and also let me know if you have a channel because I'd love checking out people's channels. So it looks like we're gonna go ahead and unstuff for my beauty, from gifts, from my envelope, from clothing and from work. Let me get my first binder that has, I think, beauty. Okay, here's the binder that has beauty in it. I'm gonna put that up more, okay. And in beauty, we spent seven, because I am doing my own nails. Please, you know, I'm, they look rough. It's because I'm practicing, y'all. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. And, you know, I think what I'm trying to do is just like, I need to just learn how to put on the polish correctly first before I go and try and do some hand designs too. I need to start with the baby steps. I'm watching Erica from Black and Blue, her videos to help out too. They're actually very helpful. So go check out her channel as well for, you know, cash stuff and, and nail tips. But in beauty, we need to unstuff $77. Probably gonna round that up to 80 if I don't have the correct denominations. So 70, 90. Mm, I'm gonna do, okay. I'm going to make change with this one, right? 70. Let's see where I can make change with this one real quick. Not emergency funds, not back to school. Maybe in gifts? No, I know which one, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the exchange, so I'm gonna put 10 in here and now we have 80, put this 10 back. Okay, the next one, it needs from gifts, my envelope and work, but I know I have gifts and mine in here, so let's do mine 50, because we went out for drinks. And okay, I have the 50 right there. Then, here we should have clothing or gifts, gifts right here. So these gifts are for my husband's birthday. Let's go ahead and see how much we need to put in. So 40, that was, was for five guys because that's what he wanted to eat. Then we went to the drive-in theater. That was 1750. Um, the next piece is I actually got a bunch of king crab legs and made you know, like a shrimp boil or like crab, you know, crab king leg boil here at the house. And that was 7406. We decided that if we had gone anywhere else, it would have been over $150. So we saved half that money just doing it ourselves at home. And so we are unstuffing 132.33 from gifts, but we don't have that. So if we can do 130 or 135, we might be okay. So we have here two fifties for a hundred, and then we have here 40. So I think what I'd like to do is, let me see if I can exchange this for smaller denominations somewhere else. All right, so I did the quick exchange, here's 20. And so it was, well, how much did we put down? Jesus, a hundred, okay, oh my goodness. 132, so we are looking, let's take, 35 out, put this one back, 
And then that is it for this one. Oh, I forgot something. No, I didn't. Okay, sorry. I'm I'm freaking myself out, you guys. All right, so that's it for this binder. There is one more binder, and I think we just need from our work envelope. Okay, so here is from our pink binder, and we're gonna take from our work envelope, and it was 20 for some Costco lunch for my staff. So 10, 20, right there. Okay, let's mark all of this off real quick and pick a color. I'm just gonna choose black and check all of these off. And let's count how much is gonna go back to the bank. Here we have 50, 100, 100, 50, 200, so 200. 20, 40, oh, you know what? There's not a lot. Uh, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. So 285 going back to my card, which is great. So we are going to take this amount now and use it for a quick bill exchange because maybe a few of my envelopes, I'm gonna start with my husband's envelope who has a lot of ones and fives and smaller denominations and see what we can exchange in his. So let's do that. So let's do a quick bill exchange, and I know where we need to start, which is in the back for taxes. There's a lot of small denominations back here, so let's count. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So 40, which we might have, yes, we have two twenties. I'll put this here. Next, we're gonna move into his car registration. Let's see if anything needs to be exchanged in here. 50, nope, this is all good. Let's move into the next one. His Black Friday envelope has 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 35, so 10, Five, one, two, three, four, five. That's ten. Let's grab this ten from right here. And this is five singles. Let's go five here. So that thirty-five. The next one is his car parts. Car parts has forty-five, so that's fine. Okay, next is shoes. Let's check what we can exchange in here. He really wants a pair in July. And here we have 50, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 75. So I think we can exchange this singles for a five right here. So that's okay. And we're gonna use the rest, especially these 50s for my binders which I thought he was gonna need more, but maybe next time. Next time he'll get more of a bill exchange, but yeah, let's keep going. Let's start off here, and I'm gonna start off with my son's envelope. Let's see, he has 2,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I can do two 50s for that, and then these two 10s can be for one of these 20s. I hope I'm not confusing anyone. I apologize if I am. Juice box. Let's see what we can change for her, exchange for her. Uh, 20, 50. Let's grab that 50. Clothes we kind of already did, but let's see what else, if there's any more in here. Oh, I didn't unstuff closing, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. So clothing, I need to remove 70. So that is 20, 40, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So 70 to the side. And now we're left with 20 in clothing, which that is a quick enough bill exchange right here. I'm sorry. You know what? This is all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. I should have left my tray here. I thought this was going to be quick. I caught a mistake. No one told me about it. 
health is going to get, let's see, I think we can do some changes in here. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So 240 or 220. So let's see, here's one. Dental. Uh, we can exchange these for a 20. Disney, no, I doubt it. Prime, maybe, no. State, possibly. Maybe some 20s. Uh, yes. Uh, here we have 40. So here's two 20s. Oops. Okay. That's going to go back for San Francisco State. I am not attending San Francisco State yet, but I hope to soon. What is that? Oh, that's that's in the money. Okay. Apple. We still have a 50 in here. That's good. Apple has, okay, maybe 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, let's see. So here's five, four, five, so which we can do for 20. And now we can exchange two 20s and a 10 for the 50. And yeah, that's all we can really exchange in here. That's it, work has 10 in there, so maybe we can exchange it. Yeah, let's exchange it for 10. All right, uh, let's move into the next binder and see if we can exchange anything in there. Let's see in mine, these two tens can be exchanged for that 20 right there. Luxury should be fine, travel is fine. Christmas has 35, so no. Gifts, let's, nope, that has 55. Birthdays, maybe. So we have the hundreds, we have the 50. So we have we have 50 right here. But, mm, okay, so just this 10. And let's organize them before we put them back. I don't know if anyone else does that with their cash envelopes, organize them. Car, maybe? Okay, so we have two tens that can be exchanged for a 20, which I saw right there. And I would advise everyone to use it. This is why everyone uses a tray, apparently. And I did not do that. That's it for car. Back to school, maybe? No, it's good. Yeah. Emergency funds should be fine. Beauty, we unstuffed. Date night only has like 52. Yeah, so we're okay. Yeah, it has, oh, it has four right here. So what I'm gonna do is just exchange it for a five and I, not with that five, cause look at that. And just pay from a dollar for my buffer. And that is it. Let's go ahead and count, which I'm gonna have to tally this up to make sure I have the right amount. Okay, let me separate these bills out real quick. How is everyone doing? I'm currently on spring break, probably by the time you are watching this. It was long overdue. The kids are going wild. I work for a middle school. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. At a middle school, I'm the director of a community schools project. So I work at the school full time and work with the kids a lot, the faculty, the admin, and oh my God, the kids are just, especially our eighth graders. I don't know how many of you guys have middle schoolers or have worked with middle schoolers, but they are a different breed. They are, they're funny, they're resilient. They're really like, they're really coming into their own. You know, it's a good time with them. Like I do, I generally have a good time, but they can also hurt your feelings. Middle schoolers are like your mean friends and it's okay because you know, 
they this is just where they're at developmentally it's okay we're all right we're understanding so we are condensed all of the bills down to ones fives and tens and let's see let's total this up to make sure how much is at least what's the minimum that's supposed to be going back So we have 349.81 that this totals up to, which means a minimum of three, like we need to be in that ballpark. Remember, I'm paying $1 for my buffer. So as long as we're near there, and I think I also like, if something was 77, then I just put 80 down, something like that. So let's count. And here in the ones we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So 34 in singles. In the fives, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 120 right here. And now we have the tens left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Minus 100. Okay, 95 left. 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, 200. So 95 is covered. $5 is going back into my buffer, technically four. And we are done, y'all. That was just a quick unstuffing bill exchange. I actually don't know if the video is quick. It feels quick to me. We'll see in editing. But that is, I have to go inside the bank for this. There's no way this is going through the ATM. And... Again, want to thank everyone again. Thank you so much for everyone who continues to support my channel. I mean, I mean it. I really do. It motivates me and it keeps me accountable. So thank you. Thank you for your sweet words, your kind words. Don't forget to leave a comment, even if it's an emoji. It means so much to me. And I hopefully will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.